We've been here for 10 minutes. We thought we'd better take a Toyota for a rip. This is the fun way to the pub. Clearest water I've ever seen. I'm in a blow up boat with my ass in the water. <laughs> oh, bro, he's directly underneath me. Fish. <laughs> we are currently on a lap around America. Last week, we're down in the Everglades, yes. putting the truck through its paces. And uh, this morning, we've rocked up to, to it's beautiful called little spot. Guinness Springs. Basically, uh, from what we can gather, is there's a number one, of springs. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually a full underground all connected. tunnel system of fresh water that's pumping out of the ground, creating this natural spring. You can scuba these, which unfortunately we're not doing this trip, but what you can do is hire some tubes, get in your canoes, float all the way down and check out this absolutely along the way. gorgeous. We're gonna chuck some boardies on, explore life boardies of course. Also, <laughs> brand new signature shirt in the Browns just dropped. If you wanna check that out, let's go have a look. Tube. I got my tow boat here, Navzi. I don't know it's where you gonna... think we're towing, that thing's flowing. So we're gonna jump in here, this is the most upstream point, then we'll take a couple of little turn offs. Where the springs pump in. Find a spring. Yeah. We've got a couple of masks that we've hired as well. Go for a dive. So we'll go for a dive, bomb down, it looks sick. So it looks cool. The photos go. look cool anyway, let's go find them. Woohoo! Tannin is, is what's leached out of leaf, out of the leaf, out of vegetation, and that's what the colour is. It's just like a tea. You, when you put tea in hot water and that comes out, that's the tannin. So that's it's obviously coming out of the, all the leaf litter of these big trees and all the swamp that slowly drain into these rivers, plus the, all the springs flow into these big things. That's probably why Florida is completely always underwater. Not only is it flat and close to sea level, but you've got so many springs. Do you reckon there's alligators in here, Matty? I'd say so. Maybe you saw a big thing going to water over there and he just realised his ass is hanging in the water. <laughs> New fear unlocked. <laughs> oh, that was a fish. Stop panicking. Well, there's three dragonflies. Having a I'm assuming there's one female and the two guys are trying to fight for the... I don't know what's going on. I'm confused now. I don't know what they're, they're gonna drown. Oh, check this out. Here comes some squid on. Have a look at this. There you go, mate. Not very chatty, are they? No. Jeez, that's a serious camera. You're going in. Who's you? I don't know that bloke. Me and Navs are going in. It's not that I bad. Don't know if I can do it. Get in. Can't, can't do it. Oh, I'm gonna hold it. Hey, <laughs> mother. <laughs> f Let's go. Ever seen. That's out of control. That was so cool. All the scuba divers are going that way, which means there has to be a deeper one. Let's go find it. Now. 
Absolutely crazy to see water that clear. That was crazy. Went down, saw the, you can see the scuba divers going down into the cave and it looked like it went for like 20 or 30 meters continue before they went around the corner. That was Scoop insane. Steve's reporting for duty. Look at the color change. You've got the dirty water and you can almost see where the spring water's pushing out to it. I don't have a paddle. <laughs> I'm up creek without a paddle. <laughs> there must be, one of the springs we went to the other day was like eight million liters a day. These ones here would be 40 or 50. You can, when you dive down, you can feel the current pushing across your face when you dive into those caves, which means there must be serious water pumping out. We have 100% confirmed there's a gator and I'm floating directly towards it, You've which is my paddle, so. not ideal. <laughs> I'm in a blow up boat with my ass in the water. Paddle towards him. Oh, Mate, trust me, have faith. We're going to paddle towards the gator is the latest plan. I don't know about Nav's plan sometimes. Look at him, he's, get, he's just catching some sun rays. All right. My dangling feet towards the gator. Best idea I've ever had. <laughs> oh, bro, he's directly underneath me. Are you fucking kidding? That is not fun. Get me out of here. I need to be in a boat. That thing just don't. It just went straight underneath me. Maddie's face is like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought I was just going to dive in the water. It went straight, straight at me. I'm like lifting yes. me bum up out of the water. Oh, God, I just dropped. What did I drop? Oh, shit. <laughs> when the gator come at him, he dropped a fin, a face, a mask, and then he just went to go under, and a fish come trap to him. He's like, whoa! <laughs> that was hilarious. I've never actually fully sh me pants like that. It just, that thing beelined at me, eh? Straight at you. Look how clear it is, you can see it all the way down. It's getting late in the afternoon. This might be our, our, our last little spring stop for today before we get out and go cook up a feed. That was insane. We, we thought this might have been cool, but that blew our minds. Being able water. to free dive down and chill out with the scuba divers. <laughs> if they were to get out of the way, we could have gone down further, but That's um, cool. epic. If only it was like a hot summer's day, you'd be in here all day. We might just bomb this one. Nav will anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Other than being chased by an alligator, that was fun. <laughs> All right, we've just got back. It's time to warm up. Couple of new additions to the Explore Life online store. We got the towel. Navs, look at how big that is too. So these are a quick dry towel. Now I'm telling you, this is the nicest feeling quick dry towel you will find. It took me a good couple of years to try and find one that didn't make you feel like you're drying yourself with a, with a chamois. So we got the huge towel. We got the massive poncho, which uh, is perfect. You can, so you, you can get changed at campsite, you can get changed in the car park if you're a surfer. Massive hood on it, and uh, they come in three different sizes, guys. Adults, youth, and the kids. So the whole family can get around it and enjoy them. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to give a little guarantee here. If you don't like the feel of it, send it back. I'll give you your money back. 
full refund, no questions asked, because I'm that confident these things are unreal. Little fire going, we're just gonna give this a bit of a ruzz up, and then tonight we're gonna make American burgers. Oh, yeah. So we got some mints, we're gonna make our own bur burger square, patties. Square, ch fake cheese. <laughs> Got some, got some good American cheese. <laughs> Yum. I've prepared all the ingredients. You've prepared all the ingredients. <laughs> Ready for a little cougar? We got some proper fake cheese. <laughs> That's American cheese. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to hand make the patties. We've got the fire going at the moment. Got a little section where I should be able to just slide some logs out. I'll get the little grill out in a moment. So I'll um, make you cook. Oh, done. Egg will help bind it. So will salt. If you don't have egg or salt, you can uh, egg. You can use Chipotle Southwest. I reckon we should put that in. Salt right? free. So then we're going to add lots of salt, lots of pepper, a little bit of this good, the good gear. Give it a really good mix. You can't mix it enough, really. That helps all the salts and the things to help it um, protein bind together. Pepper. Crap, good gear in there. You can't have too much pepper, can you? Well, you probably can. <laughs> <laughs> He's also never done this before, and uh, we suck at cooking normally, but we just thought we'd have a bit of fun tonight. Do something while we got a nice campfire. It's nice yeah. to cook on the fire. Enough. Let us know in the comments if this is not how you make burgers, because everyone will. <laughs> <laughs> now we need a little bit of... Is that chilli, brass? Oh, is it? A bit of olive oil, just to juice it up a bit. Nav may have just absolutely loaded it. Why is that chili? Chipotle. <coughs> All right, we ready? Yeah, we, we give that a mix. Is that enough meat? You can squish it in your hands to get all the out of it, and then you slowly flatten them out because they're always going to shrink. And like the ones you buy in the shops that are blended up to crazy with all sorts of stuff in it to stop. I'd be making. That. I'd be making them. A bit thicker patty. You make it. Uh, always shrink up. You ever made, never had a patty at home? No. That's too thin. Great. Trust me, they'll shrink up. Trust me, he's a goose egg. We need some bacon. <laughs> bacon, well, yes, we definitely need Well, bacon. you make the world's skinniest patties. Okay, I'll, I'll make, I'll get some I'll make bacon. a fat one. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about the bacon. We ate it. Nah, we're not going to have bacon anyway, no, so I reckon it'd be yeah, better, better without I, it. I didn't want bacon anyway. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Straight on the fire. No, I'm not. A bit of paper towel. They're going to fall through. Right, so unfortunately we're lacking in the mustard department, so we're gonna go BB sauce, bit of mayo, you need your meat, you need your cheese, which we've got. You need a couple of slices of bloody tomiata on there. Thickly sliced as well, seems to be the trend. Bit of lettuce. What are you doing? Oh mate, we're just, just having a little little cook up here. Bit of that. Just put them all in one spot so that you get it all in one bite, Matty. Good. Jeez, that's too much lettuce. These are the worst burgers I've ever seen. What are you, what are you, are you feeding a family of rabbits? You need to eat some lettuce. I know that's not very American, but you need some lettuce on here. Holy lettuce leaves. Oh yeah. All right, we'll be honest, that was not the ultimate American burger. That was just a really nice burger. That was a really good burger. If we had to have made it the ultimate American burger, we would have done double patty, double oh, cheese, geez. Bacon, pickles, pickles, mustard, no lettuce, no, no lettuce. tomato. No, we just Double wanted to, we just wanted to make a really nice burger, and that was actually delicious. That was probably one of the better burgers I've had in America. Uh, it, yeah, I'm not. It was. I'm gonna go cook up these other Tomorrow? patties. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's go. All right, we're gonna enjoy the fire. Sun's dropping in the background. We'll see you in the morning. We're off on another epic adventure tomorrow. We're gonna catch up with a bloke that some of you guys will know. So, stay tuned. in this episode because we got one hell of a giveaway guys you're not going to want to miss this mate what did i just buy bro it's insane <laughs> so you guys are going to be running an ax27 rooftop tent yeah premium high opening tent as well as our largest awning the 270 xt max so guys this is the exact setup that i ran for a couple years on my 79 series doing a lap of australia and i can tell you when it comes to touring and living out of your vehicle this is the ultimate setup yep. every single item is an entry jump online this month only good luck
Fuck. All right, guys, about four or five hours later. That was a bit of a... <laughs> That was a long day, actually. A long drive, I don't know it? why it felt like a long drive, but we've made it. If you are Toyota fans, you will have seen this guy probably on Instagram, YouTube, or we were chatting to him at the Four Wheel Drive show as well. Met him four years ago at Overland Expo. We've caught up at SEMA and a heap of places. Breland from Yoda Mafia. Uh, he said, stop in. He reckons he's got a couple of things planned for us, Navs. Now, I haven't told you too much because I just said, get excited. <laughs> I'm um, excited. This is one thing that I've been dying, or yeah. a couple of these things I've been dying to do. We're in the south. Let's call it the have fun <laughs> territory. <laughs> so let's go in, see if we can find Breland, and uh, find out get us over let Nav know, know what, what we're up to. I want to drag it out, get you excited. <laughs> You're on. Guys, this is Breland, Yoda Mafia. What's up, guys? Mate, I've been stirring Nav's up the last couple of days. I told him we got some fun activities planned, and I've, I've not let him know anything. So, what's the what plan? What what's are we up plan? to? We've got some fun activities this week. We're going to be doing a bit of um, camping around the rivers in here. We've got some of our buddies over at my vessel Power Sports. We're going to take uh, some fullers and side by side, oh. deep, deep. Um, into that? the water. Deep, deep. The water. deep yeah. Oh, so did you see the can -Ams out front? They the got snorkels. snorkels coming up over oh, your that's head. That's what they are, snorkels. So we're going to see if we can get Nav uh, completely uh, submerged. Uh, submerged. Uh, water. <laughs> we're going to go do a bit of my Florida yeah. pre-running out here yeah. in, the, uh, in the Florida desert. So uh, I'll show you boys that, a little my hidden secret. Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's kick it off. We're going to go straight to the pub and have, have, have a few <laughs> beers. But uh, we'll catch you guys in the morning. And I think, what, we're going camping. Yeah, we're going camping. We're going to go play with some Toyotas. Welcome to you. Mafia. Go. Welcome to Florida. So we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna throw, the, throw the Ram keys in the uh, in the bin for the next couple of days. And <laughs> let's go break some of your cars. Yeah, <laughs> get the Toyotas. Uh, we're just having a little look around the shop. What was the name of the shop, bro? Vessel Power Sports. Vessel Power Sports. They look like they uh, they have a good time. Unreal. Um, Well, we've been here for uh, 10 minutes. We thought we'd better take a Toyota for a rip. This is the fun way to the pub. Just wait. Well, we're almost at the pub, but the next bit's a little bit soft. So we're just gonna air down and then we should get there. That was, uh, that was one hell of an exit. <laughs> Righto, morning guys. Bit of fun today. We're taking the big rig for a wheel. So Breland's got the... Uh, I got the Toyota. The forerunner, mate. Forerunner. And uh, he's gonna take us around, show us some tracks today. There's a lot of sand and clay out here, so you know that'll be kind of interesting in the heavier trucks. They don't seem to like that. <laughs> it's lightweight. It's only eleven thousand pounds. Uh, yeah, this one's about my fifty-five hundred here, so half. Yeah, uh, yeah, about half. <laughs> half, but... half the weight. Jeez. All locked up. Thirty-fives. Uh, the suspension setup on this thing's crazy. We don't even have lockers in that thing, so that's what's gonna slow us down. But. We're gonna get stuck. We'll no, see we'll how we good. go. I'm getting excited. Finally, we're gonna wheel the ram a little bit harder. Finally, we're gonna get it completely stuck. <laughs> Woohoo! What do you mean <laughs> stuck, mate? <laughs> we'll be right. After all this time in America, we finally found ourselves a beaver dam. So now we've got to do is just find the beaver. That'd be pretty cool. Look at this. Yeah, it's all been dammed up. That's cool. Beavers are mean too. Are they? Yeah, they're mean animals. Very uh, like territorial. Yeah, but what are they going to do? Bite you? Uh, or what are they? What are their defense mechanisms? You know, I've never uh, had to tango with one. Just so wanted to find out. I slap their tails really yeah. loud to make uh, oh, yeah cool. like loud noises. Maddie does that sometimes too. What they do is they go along, chew off all the trees, they drag them here, like a big pile here, and that's their den. So they go under there and there's like an air pocket in there where they actually live. I had no idea they had beaver dens like that. That's cool to see. You can see a little water patch here. They go in there, protected, pile that up, then cover it in mud. It's like a little house basically, but the only way to get in is going through the water. It's cool.
Maddie's gonna come up and have a crack. It's, uh, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just, he might bottom out and he's gonna kind of turn. As you can see, he comes up this way and then he's gonna turn like this and then get up there. Big dog coming through. That's crazy, that had no dramas at all. Oh yeah. I walked you, it. You know how much time left you got up there? Yeah, felt comfy. That was crazy, yeah. Walked right up, big I just, girl. I thought we might have got a bit of wheel spin, but I'm surprised. Went pretty good. Yeah, it did really good, you know, without lockers. Yeah, I probably need lock. Well, we weren't sure how much hard wheeling we were going to do, so yeah. we didn't go lockers, but man, that was a little surprising. That was cool. Yeah. Just pulled up at a little uh, river spot. Have a look down here, it's not too bad, look at that. Crystal clear. Time for feed. Yeah, I'm bloody starving. Couple of burgers on the go. Some nice sliced tomatoes. Burgers for lunch. Got a couple of patties in the go. Cook, cook a feed for the Yoda boys. <laughs> Did buy enough? Yeah, just. Yeah. Have a look at this. So apparently this is the uh, their dry spell, and normally these rivers are all um, chock a block with a full right up with water. But because there's, uh, as you see, it's nice and clear. Um, this is just spring water, and this is, we're still a while away from the last springs we were at. Just have a look at these. There's some um, deer prints actually. Look at this. Oh, for you fellow bow hunters and whatnot. There we go. Let's go on this way. But now it's pretty cool. This is this should be just spring water, so this flows all year round. Um, like this and then as obviously when the rain comes it you can see by the big trees and stuff that are falling down across here it gets a lot bigger you could live off this live off this river with the deer around and all the other animals that live around here this is awesome all right well pumping the bags back up that was an epic little lunch spot down in the river now time to uh find our way out and uh we're gonna start getting prepped for tomorrow so just wait and see what we're up to next. Fishing! Fishing! <laughs> we're going oh, fishing! Righto, good morning fellas. So we had a pretty sick afternoon yesterday. We went to those tracks and went through all that pine forest area, which was pretty cool. Uh, this morning, we're gonna go fishing out in the bay. However, Maddie is pretty crook. I mean, he's been sick the last few days. He's been trying to power through. This morning, he's done for. Yes! Which means I get to go fishing with the boys to see if we can pull up some good fish today and then tomorrow we might head out and uh, see if we can get some tuna. We go catch them. Yep, ready to catch some fish. What are we catching today? Uh, I think we're going to try to get out there and do some snapper fishing. Yeah. Maybe catch a couple groupers. Yeah. See what else we can get. Yeah, done. Hear that? Whatever he said, that's what we're going to catch. All right, let's get started. Pulling up here, we're about 15 miles offshore right now. Yep. We're on uh, some old bridge rubble. So they had a bridge, they knocked it down, and, and they, just it they put it on barges it. and they dumped oh. it in for like an artificial reef. So a bunch of massive like concrete down there, hoping yep. for some big ones. All right. Yeah, 
Trigger fish. Trigger fish, that's good eating. Is it good eating? Yeah. Woohoo! I got a good eating fish. It's going in the box, boys. Woo! First fish! Awesome. Yeah. Gap boys. You get the gap boys. What is that? Red snapper. Woo! Cannot keep him right now. Oh, bugger! It's my first red snapper too. Uh, they got teeth or what? Yeah, they do yeah. have teeth. All right, I won't put my hand in his mouth then. Fortunately, it's out of season by one day. If it was tomorrow, we would have been all right, but he's got to go. Whoa, that was quick. He's gone, my first, first ever red. Time for more. Another one of those little buggers, trigger fish. Keeper, so 12 inches is the limit, and he's just over, it'll be 13 inches, so another keeper for the Esky. Bit shocky, so what we're gonna do is start trawling for a bit. Boys reckon we might get into a wahoo or a maki, which will be cool. Hey, the big lure's out. Try to pick it up. Fine. Fine. Heavy. But I don't know if that's just because we're driving and I'm dragging it. Jesus. Trying to smash that lure, that's crazy. Fishing trip done and dusted. Unfortunately, we didn't get the big fish that we were hoping to catch, but we did get a couple of little trigger fish. We might cook those up next uh, next uh, couple of days. Next week, actually, uh, one of Maddie's dreams could be coming true, so it's gonna be pretty exciting. But until then, guys, get out and enjoy the explore life.